Jesse Richards. I have a lot of books. Today I'm going to be showing off this box. Uh, this is part of my art wall. It has art and business books, and I know those don't sound related, but it's because I started my career as a graphic designer, got art-related business books, and then moved into other related business books. But for now, this section is art, and this box has some of my favorite books in it, so I'd like to share them with you. Um, this one it's really interesting, Sketchbook Dares. Uh, this is by a woman named Laura Lee Gulledge, and we actually partnered up for a sketch meetup. I lead a drawing meetup in New York um, to do some of these exercises with a group of people. So we got about 50 people together, and we did these sketchbook dares, which are like challenges to draw certain things together. Um, what other books do we have here? We've got this, which is one of my favorite art books of all time. This is Essays About Art by John Updike, the famous writer. And it's just got lots of really interesting analyses of paintings. And it's a very visual book, which I always like, because no one wants to read huge pages of text. Um, so it has just really interesting articles. Is Art Worth It? That was the name of one of them. That's just crazy. Um, Luminous Folk. Here's one about Sargent, who's one of my favorite painters of all time, John Singer Sargent. Something Missing. Just the title gives you like a mystery of what it could this possibly be about. Um, speaking of Sargent, this is one of the boxes where I have a bunch of books about him. So here's Sargent painting out of doors. He did these amazing oil paintings and watercolors of people relaxing outside, very loose, very impressionist. Um, he was a sort of impressionist painter uh, in America and just really beautiful work. So I have one book there, Painting Out of Doors. I have a book just of his watercolors. He did a series in Venice that is amazing. Look, look at these paintings, like they're really nice. Um, and then here's a book just on his paintings of women, Sargent's Women. Wow, that book's really big. Um, this was from a show I saw, I forget if it was at the Met or somewhere, but uh, you always have that gift shop at the end of exhibits and you have to buy a book if you were there, because I don't know if any of you have that same impulse, but that's a requisite for me. Here's a very cute little book on Sargent, um, The Age of Elegance. It's almost like a little flip book. Really beautiful. Um, that's a bunch of Sargent books. What else do we have here? Here are two books by Loish, L-O-I-S-H. I really hope it's not pronounced Loish, but I think it's Loish. And these were funded from Kickstarter. And this is this amazing artist who does these drawings of people that are kind of cartoon, um, kind of manga-ish illustration, comic illustration. And in these books, she goes into detail about her process and how she does it. And they're just really beautiful, computer-illustrated, glowing pieces of artwork. Here's portraits and figure drawing. Really nice, really nice paintings. So I've got two of those books. She did one Kickstarter, and then she did another Kickstarter. Emptying out the shelf here. Um, just look at a couple more. This is Broad Strokes. It's a history of 15 women who were famous in the art world, 15 wonderful artists, and a little essay on each, dating back to pretty obscure artists. Uh, here's a, I'm gonna guess, 16th century Dutch painter, French, going from the past up to the present day, and some really nice painters to learn about if you haven't heard of some of them and sort of expose a little of this unknown history. Alice Neal is a wonderful artist. I have another book on her um, in another box. And uh, just really exciting little essays. I have a book on Ruth Asawa too. Um, that's a really nice, it's a short book to read. It's a nice summary. 
um, it, it really exposes some of this history and, and people who deserve to be recognized more widely. Um, what else do I have here? A book on Vermeer, a book on Monteglioni, two actually, that's weird, I didn't realize that. Um, this book, okay, they're starting to collapse. This book was my textbook from college. I took a course on 19th century art. This painting on the cover is Flaming June, which is a, a wonderfully beautiful, this sort of saffron orange glowing painting. Um, I didn't read this all the way through. I remember skimming it, I think, because it's pretty intense. Um, but I really liked the 19th century art course. I'm not even gonna put this one on the ground because it might like break. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show here is this book, Fu Hong Tat. Um, Hong Fu is actually a friend of the family um, who I've known for a long time, and this was his book of art. He's a painter who does these wide, sort of big, colorful, abstract, quasi-abstract paintings. Um, you can pick up sort of landscape imagery in them, but they're almost abstract. And they're so flowing and creative and fluid and liquid and free and just uh, stunning. This one looks like waves. It's really nice stuff. He's a, he's a well-known painter and uh, I'm glad I know him. And this is an excellent, excellent book. Here's a picture of him working. And I think a newspaper clipping in here about an article from him in the paper, um, which is really cool. So this is a this is a great book to have. So that's this box, this art box. Uh, next, we'll explore even more. Um, but thanks so much for watching, and I hope some of these books you look up and take a look at and read, because they're all really good. That's it for now. Thanks a lot.